Let me know if this story sounds familiar to you. You sit down, prepared to start batching your next batch of YouTube content ideas, and suddenly your mind goes blank. You think you come up with a good idea, but it only takes a few minutes for you to realize that's probably not a good idea at all. And now you start to stress out because this is a side hustle for you and you don't have hours and hours to do this. You only have one hour and that hour is quickly disappearing and you've thought of nothing. So in this video, we're going to solve that problem once and for all for you. If you've ever struggled coming up with content for YouTube or honestly any other social platform, by the end of this video, that struggle will be gone. And if you stay till the end of the video, we're going to show you how you can get access to this spreadsheet right here. Now that spreadsheet you just saw is a custom coded spreadsheet that I created where I can put in all these content ideas that we're gonna show you how to generate in this video and it will churn out the best opportunities and let you know which ones you need to be making first and which ones you perhaps don't even need to be making at all. Don't worry, it's totally free. We're not gonna make you opt in or anything like that. Don't tell my business coach I did that. Now before we start, I do want to explain something that I personally know that every serious YouTuber is doing and that's writing down every single idea they have for a video as soon as the idea comes. So if you take YouTube seriously, you need to have something on your phone that's there and available. And the instant a new idea for a video comes, it needs to get put onto that sheet or it will disappear forever. I can't tell you how many ideas I had when I was first starting that were really good ideas that I would have in the shower or just before bed or while I'm driving and that I would never make the video because when it actually came time to come up with my ideas for videos, that idea was already gone. So you need a pad, even a physical piece of paper if you're one of those people, something where you can keep track of every idea as it comes. And you'll find that ideas are coming all the time throughout the day, especially as you're looking for them. So that's the first item. Just keep that piece of paper or a note on your phone. Now we're gonna start at what I call the least creative way. So this is a way that's very, very easy to do. And then we're gonna get to where there are some creative ways, uh, some that I'm pretty sure you probably haven't used and have never thought of. And they're some of my favorite ways as we work our way down this list. So. Let's dive in. Now, number one, not super creative, but still one of my favorites. And I can honestly say that I use it on every new channel I create for probably my first 20 to 30 videos. This is the method that I'll use. So let's dive in and look here. What we do is we use the YouTube search bar. So the YouTube search bar, we're all aware that if I type in, you know, how to, it's gonna give me a bunch of different things that people are looking for how to. Now the problem with YouTube is we're in a niche, right? None of these are, are in my niche that we're looking at right here. I don't think most of you care if I showed you how to make pancakes. And to be honest, I'm not great at making pancakes. So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a niche. For example, one of my channels is in the crypto niche and we're gonna type in the word crypto. When I type in crypto, it's gonna give me uh, no, about 10 ideas. Still not great though, right? Crypto news, crypto news today, still not getting anywhere to where we feel like we're, uh, you know, have a lot of ideas for videos. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna type in a letter before crypto and I'm gonna type in a crypto, okay? Now you can see here, we're starting to get some more ideas. A, a cryptocurrency, a crypto portfolio, a crypto guide to the metaverse. We're gonna go B and now we're starting to get some more ideas, right? Best crypto to buy now, bomb crypto game. There's something going on with this bomb crypto game. Best metaverse crypto, okay, C, Chico crypto, uh, nothing great there. But you can see I'm coming up with all these different ideas now and I can change it to Bitcoin, right? And now I can go A, Bitcoin, and I get all these different uh, Bitcoin ideas to talk about Bitcoin. Uh, best Bitcoin to buy right now. That's funny because there is only one Bitcoin. And then you can do the same thing, but take that letter and move it after the word. So we've done crypto, right? Crypto A, crypto analysis, crypto apex legends, crypto arbitrage trading, B, okay, Crypto Bureau, Crypto Ban in India, Crypto C. So you can see here, now there's just ideas flowing, especially if you're familiar with crypto. So if you're watching this and you're not familiar with crypto, you might be saying, I don't know what any of these people are talking about. But in your niche, you'll have a pretty good idea. And you can do this and come up with quite literally 50 to 100 different video ideas as you go through every single letter, both before and after your niche. Okay, so I can type in affiliate marketing and do the same thing. And you can see I'm getting tons of different options just using the letter A. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this custom spreadsheet that we added and you're gonna start throwing it in this left-hand column here. Okay, and we're not, letting, we're not showing you all the other stuff on the right, but you can see on the left-hand column, all you've gotta do is start throwing in these ideas, throwing them in there and we'll start sorting which ones are the best ideas as we get closer to the end. The next one is another simple one that has also yielded great, great results for me. And uh, it's even simpler than the last one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the channels in our niche and we're gonna figure out what's really working for them. So for example, I could type in affiliate marketing, which is what a lot of this channel is about. And you can see I've got all these different channels that talk about affiliate marketing, okay? And what I would do is I would scroll down a little bit and let's say I click into this one right here. Okay, and I'd click over to his channel page. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to his videos and we're gonna sort them, okay? And you can see where this is going. 
by the most popular. Okay, now this isn't all we're gonna do. We need, we need to be a little bit more specific than this, but you can see right here, we've got a really killer video on Instagram with you know, 600,000 views, 200,000 views. And really quickly, you'll see there's typically, depending on the size of the channel, 10 to 20 videos, anywhere from let's say five to 20 videos that are really good. That have you know hundreds of thousands of views and then it kind of dies down. You'll find that most of these big channels have just a few videos that really blew them up. Okay, the, the ones that really took them next level and the rest of their videos are just doing okay. And so what we're gonna do is try to mimic those big videos. But what's important to look at is the time frame. okay? So you can see this had 530,000 views, but it was two years ago. And I find that there's trends and stuff that go on on YouTube and so if something was two, three, four, five years ago, it may not be trending now. Like Instagram was huge. I don't think Instagram's as big now as it was, but I know that a couple years ago, people that were doing this and talking about Instagram got a ton of followers from that. Unfortunately, I did not do any videos about Instagram. But you can see here we've got seven months ago, four months ago, and then back to two years ago and then things like that. But we would look at these two and say, okay, this is something more recent. Clearly people are excited about what we're talking about right here. Uh, the subject or something like that. Can I make a similar video to this? Uh, whether it's you know very, very similar or just kind of the same idea or just talking about you know generally the thumbnail title can be the same with a totally different video. But we're gonna use this for our ideation and you'll find that you'll come up with about on each channel, I'll come up with five or six ideas of things that I can do as well. And, and preferably you think, how can I do this but just a tiny bit better? Now let's move on to the third one. And that's one of my favorite ones because I don't think many people are doing this and it yields really good results for me. And what it is, is it's called niche scooching. Uh, probably a poor word, but we're gonna scooch over from our niche to a niche that's just a little bit different than ours. Okay, so it's kind of similar, but not the exact same. And a good example for me is real estate. So my channel teaches how to make money online. Real estate investors are definitely trying to make money and stuff like that, but they're trying to do it through a different avenue, real estate. So what we're gonna do is we'd, we'd type in real estate, and we'd, you know, some different words, real estate investing and stuff, and we'd come across some channels. But one of my favorite ones is a guy named Graham Stephan. Okay, and you can see right here, he's at you know, millions and millions of subscribers. Guys, so we're gonna go to him right here. We're gonna pause that voice that auto plays that we all hate. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go sort him by his videos. And what we're looking for is videos that we can take the exact same framework and the exact same title pretty much, but we can do it for our niche. So if we scroll down here a little bit, how I became a millionaire in real estate by 26 could easily be converted to how I became a millionaire with affiliate marketing by age 28 or something like that, right? The exact same idea and framework, but we're tweaking how we're actually doing it. How I bought this house for $0, how I built this website up to $10,000 a month without any, you know, with $0 into it. Things like that, like little teeny tweaks, you're gonna see just, all these different ideas will come to you about how you could take the same thing they're doing and apply it to your niche. And I like this one because it's unique and you'll find these, these things. And in fact, the last video we put out, we used this exact same method. I had someone that was a blogger that talked about the harsh truths of blogging. And I uh, realized that there was not many videos out there about the harsh truths of affiliate marketing. We'll see how that video does. But you're just gonna scroll down here and you can scroll for quite a while and find uh, 10, 20, 30 different video ideas of videos that have done really well in a niche close to yours, and maybe no one in your niche has even thought of that yet. So this works really well on the more creative videos, kind of the ones that get suggested and not necessarily searched for in a search engine of YouTube. And number four, once again, we're going to be mooching off the big channels. I'm assuming if you're watching this, you don't have 400, 500, 600,000 subscribers. If you do, go ahead and do this with your own channel, lucky you. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in our keyword again in YouTube. So in our my channel's case, I would type in affiliate marketing. We're gonna find a video with a ton of views, which in in this case, we've got a million views right here from Santrell Media. So we're gonna click into that. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna load up these comments, okay? We're gonna go right down here and you're gonna see they've got 3,000 comments. And what you're looking for is not one-off comments, you're looking for patterns. You're looking for 10, 20, 30 people saying, wait, but I don't understand this. Or can you make a video about this? Which is something that happens quite often and makes it really easy. But typically it's going to be people asking these questions like, hey, you explain this, but I'm lost because I don't even know how to do this, right? And what do you what do you know? You know that those people are probably going to head straight from this video back to this YouTube search bar and they're gonna type in that. And so you, you, you already know that there are a lot of people that are stuck on this one thing because they're telling the creator in this big video that that's something that's a sticking point for them. Even better, what you can do is scroll down like this and let a bunch of comments load and then you can use the search bar. So I can go up here and I can type in words like confused and you can see right here, this person says, I'm confused at the website instructions, okay? I can go again and look, this person's a little confused on getting started when you don't have education. Not sure if we could start a video on that, but you get the idea here, right? Lost, I could type in lost. I could type in understand, meaning people are saying I don't understand. Okay, we've got seven people talking about, uh, well, these people are actually telling him what a great job he did. 
but you get the idea here. These are actual people on the internet and they're telling you what they're trying to figure out. And the very last way, and one that I found works really, really well for people that are targeting kind of the viral recommended algorithm, right? So in YouTube, we've got this search engine and you make videos that are kind of just targeting people searching for those videos. But then as a big part of YouTube and probably bigger than the search engine even is these recommended videos that YouTube's always trying to show you on the side to kind of hook you deeper into the YouTube uh, ecosystem. And we want to target that. And the way we target that very well is using TikTok. So TikTok is a very viral central algorithm. It's very good at identifying videos with potential to go viral. So what we would do, and, and you could do this on your phone easier, and I'm just gonna show you on a computer because uh, we're already recording my computer screen. But you can see right here, I could go to tiktok.com and I could just search affiliate marketing. Now there's two ways to do this. We can find accounts, okay? So we've got a bunch of accounts that talk about affiliate marketing somewhere in there. Uh, right here, you can see in their description, and we can go find all their big videos and start seeing, well, what did so well for them? Is it is it the structure of this? Is it the type of content, they, the way they explained it? Um, but we try to get ideas from the way these affiliate marketing people on TikTok are doing it. And then we can do the same thing on your phone. It's not gonna let me do it on my computer, but I could click on videos on my phone when I'm logged in, and I could actually see uh, videos that have used hashtag affiliate marketing and stuff. And, uh, and this works across any niche. This gives you viral video ideas, and it gives you a lot of them. And I can tell you right now, if something's working really well, well on TikTok, two things. One, that concept can work really well on YouTube. We just gotta stretch it out from 60 seconds to 12 minutes or so. But two, you'll find that, especially with the more recent ones, a lot of these guys head over to YouTube. So you'll see somebody making a affiliate marketing video and, and the, you know there's only 60 seconds. They're not really able to completely train and explain something in 60 seconds. But that video goes viral, it gets a million views, and a lot of those views go straight over to YouTube to learn a little bit more about what it is and because they're interested in that, right? For example, I can make a video about how to write books on Amazon. Okay, how to become an Amazon bookseller, one of those like digital Kindle sellers and make a bunch of money. And what's gonna happen is these people are gonna say, oh, I've never heard of that. They're gonna head over to YouTube to find out more and uh, you can tag right into them on YouTube as they do so. All right, so as promised, I talked about finding and identifying these best opportunities. And so what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna take a look at this right here and explain how it all works. Then we're gonna tell you how to get access to the spreadsheet. And you can see right here, these are video title ideas, okay? And those are gonna come naturally as you're going through all of these processes that we just talked about, you're gonna come up with 50 to 100 different title ideas. Now, the next thing you need to do, and you can have an assistant or somebody do this, or you can do this yourselves, what you've gotta do is you're gonna to wanna to find the average views for the top five videos with that search typed in, okay? So for example, let's say the keyword here was free traffic. So affiliate marketing, free traffic, okay? And you're going to look right here and get the average number of views. And you can see there's me right there, and there's me right there. So this is one I've, I've hammered pretty hard. But uh, you're gonna take the average of the top five videos and you're gonna plug it in right here. So let's say it's 150,000 views. Next, you're gonna figure out how many channels in the top five are verified. And what I mean by that, for me, it's anybody over 100,000 subscribers typically gets verified. They all don't have to, but um, that, that's typically, and you can see right here, what we're looking for is this check mark right here. Verified, verified. That means that they have more than 100,000 subscribers and essentially that means it's gonna be kind of hard to compete against that. And if I see that the top five, one, two, three, four, five, are all verified, it's not a great sign for me because I know that it's a pretty heavily competed keyword. So you'll let it know, the app, you'll plug it in right here, and uh, it's better if there's zero in the top five that uh, are verified. And then we'll move right over to here, and we wanna know the average age because it's, it's good if the top five videos for that keyword are old. Okay, let's say that uh, this one's four years old, this is three years old, five years old. That means they're outdated and it, it's gonna start showing, right? Viewers are gonna be looking for something else and there's a good opportunity for you probably to provide a better up-to-date video that viewers are more happy with and YouTube will recognize that and move that video to the top. So it's basically just an opportunity there. Now back on the sheet, once you've plugged those in for all of these, and obviously this takes a lot of time, but you can just do it as you go. Once you've plugged these in for all of these, it's going to assign a score right here, okay? And the score is anyway, from I guess technically zero to a couple thousand and it's just basically gonna say hey this is how big of an opportunity we think this is and all you've got to do is, sh is sort it okay sort it A to Z and it's gonna tell you what it thinks the best opportunity is essentially it's looking for opportunities where a lot of people are looking there's a lot of views available for that that keyword or that uh, idea and then we're looking for the competition being a little less stiff so you're not competing against some of these big channels that know a lot of what they're doing can make very high quality videos and then last you know is there is there kind of an opportunity here because no one's made a good video on this in a few years and that that leaves this this gap of old information that needs to be updated and just to 
show you that this works. And by the way, this is fake information I'm just using to show you in the, in the sheet you're gonna get. But this one right here, lots of views, not many channels to compete with. And then you can see right here, a little bit older, but it's still saying, hey, this is the best opportunity right here for you to uh, make a video right now, that one right there. So obviously the sheet isn't perfect, but it should sort your data a little bit for you and help you kind of have an idea of where to start. And it essentially turns it into an algorithm so you don't have to spend hours trying to decide which video to make next. You can just let the sheet tell you and you can save a lot of brain power uh, not trying to go through 100 keywords and figure out which one you like the most. And that, my friends, is how you come up with YouTube ideas for the rest of your life. If you've liked what you learned, you know what to do. You're YouTubers, right? Give me one of these, one of these. Even better, leave me a comment. And uh, that spreadsheet's down below so you can click and get access to that and uh, start creating your YouTube empire. Thank you so much for watching.